This issue of experimental physiology has four reports from the speakers at the Physiological Society sponsored symposium on the neuroendocrine regulation of the mammalian reproductive axes at the Experimental Biology Meeting in Boston in April 2013. Reproduction is a key characteristic of living organisms and is essential for survival of the species. As Charles Darwin wrote in The Origin of the Species, multiply, vary, let the strongest live and the weakest die. In mammals, the capacity for reproduction involves coordinated communication between the hypothalamus, the anterior pituitary and the gonads, the so-called HPG axis. It has been recognized since the 1970s that a small population of gonadotrophin-releasing hormone neurons in the hypothalamus, that is, the GnRH neurons, are critical for regulation of the mammalian reproductive axes. Puberty involves functional activation of these neurons resulting in pulsatile GnRH release that stimulates gonadotrophic hormone production from the anterior pituitary and subsequent gonadal maturation. In the last decade, there have been significant advances in our understanding of the hierarchical pathways that regulate GnRH release. In particular, the molecules and signaling pathways that modulate GnRH neuronal activity have been identified. One of the most important neuropeptides are the Kiss peptins, encoded by the Kiss one gene and synthesized by distinct neuronal populations in the arcuate and the anteroventral periventricular regions of the hypothalamus. Kispeptins signal through a G protein coupled receptor, GPR54, now renamed Kiss1R. This receptor is expressed by GnRH neurons and Kispeptins stimulate GnRH release. The two populations of Kispeptin neurons respond differently to estradiol feedback from the ovary to regulate the estracycle in female rodents. Kispeptin expression in the arcuate neurons is negatively regulated by estradiol, which is thought to regulate the tonic release of GnRH. Kispeptin expression in the AVPV neurons is positively regulated by estradiol, which is required for generating the preovulatory GnRH LH surge. This symposium brought together experts in the Kispeptin field to provide detailed reviews of the clinical, genetic, molecular and electrophysiological aspects of the neuroendocrine control of mammalian reproduction. Stephanie Seminara from Harvard Medical School, Boston, has played a major role in identifying the link between kispeptin signaling and fertility. Her seminal work showed that some patients with failure of pubertal maturation carry mutations in the kispeptin receptor, KIS1R. Her symposium article reviews the genetic mutations that result in clinical cases of hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism. These mutations have been important in defining the pathways governing GnRH ontogeny and physiology. Stephanie highlights the frequency with which some of these patients show spontaneous reversal of their reproductive defect and how this may provide an insight into the different roles of neuropeptides in the initiation of puberty. In particular, Stephanie discusses the incidence of reversal in patients with mutations in KISS1R compared to the neurokinin B pathway, which also regulates GnRH release in humans, and compares these clinical phenotypes with those of mice carrying the same mutations. Although the neurokinin B mutations seem to show species differences in fertility, this may simply represent two ends of a spectrum, and detailed phenotypic analysis can highlight the conservation of function between the species. Ulrich Bohm, from the University of Saarland School of Medicine, Homburg in Germany, uses sophisticated transgenic mouse models to extend our understanding of the physiology of kispeptin neurons. In female mice, oestrogen acts as a regulator of GnRH secretion by an indirect mechanism since GnRH neurons do not express the oestrogen receptor alpha. It is now known that sex steroid feedback to GnRH neurons is mediated by KISPEP neurons, which express the oestrogen receptor alpha and show oestrogen-dependent changes in KISPEPTIN expression. Ulrich's symposium article summarizes the effects of ablating the oestrogen receptor alpha specifically in KISPEPTIN neurons. 
Ulrich has shown that conditional gene ablation of estrogen receptor alpha in kispeptin neurons advances vaginal opening or puberty in female mice, suggesting that kispeptin neurons may act as a break to precocious puberty. These mice are still sterile, as adults however, but show disrupted estrus cycles, indicating that estrogen signaling in kispeptin neurons is required for normal fertility. Transgenic mice that cannot produce kispeptin neuropeptides are sterile. In contrast, female mice in which kispeptin neurons have been chronically ablated by tissue-restricted expression of a diphtheria toxin undergo puberty at the normal time and are fertile. Ulrich suggests that compensatory changes during brain development before postnatal day 20 might overcome the loss of kispeptin neurons. In support of this, it was shown that acute ablation of kispeptin neurons in adult females causes infertility, possibly because neuronal compensation cannot occur once brain development is complete. The nature of these compensatory changes remain to be established, but these data raise the interesting possibility of kispeptin-independent pathways stimulating GnRH release to maintain fertility. Martin Kelly is an expert electrophysiologist who has studied the biophysical properties of GnRH neurons for several years. His article describes his latest work on characterizing the electrophysiological and molecular properties of kispeptin neurons in guinea pigs and mice, and defining the ion channels that regulate their pacemaker activity. Pacemaker neurons control the rhythmic activity of neuronal networks by intrinsic burst firing of action potentials. This rhythm is associated with important physiological functions, including the control of breathing, sleep patterns, and arousal. Martin is particularly interested in the pacemaker activity of kispeptin neurons, which may coordinate the synchronous activity of the kispeptin neuronal network to drive pulsatile GnRH release. He has shown that with appropriate stimulation, kispeptin neurons in the arcuate have burst firing activity, which is generated by the activity of a hyperpolarization-activated cyclic nucleotide-gated channel and a T-type calcium channel. As discussed by Martin, the ability of AVPV kispeptin neurons to exhibit burst firing activity is not as clearly defined and is probably influenced by the stage of the estrus cycle and estradiol levels in the animals. An important part in dissecting the control pathways that regulate the reproductive axes is to map the neuronal circuitry associated with kispeptin neurons. Shelhua Yeo presented neuronal tracing experiments that she did at the University of Otago in New Zealand to map the projections of kispeptin neurons to other parts of the hypothalamus. Her article describes the use of anterograde and retrograde traces to map kispeptin neuronal activity in the hypothalamus. She shows that kispeptin neurons from both the arcuate and the AVPV regions project to the preoptic area of the hypothalamus where the majority of the GnRH neurons are found. Shell also highlights that kispeptin neurons project to several other regions of the brain, suggesting that they may control a variety of limbic functions as well as the central regulation of reproduction. The symposium provided a fantastic overview of the role of kispeptins in regulating the mammalian reproductive axes, and generated lively discussions between the audience and the speakers. It is hoped that the summary articles from the speakers, which cover a range of research areas in the field, will provide a useful source of information for anyone interested in mammalian reproductive physiology. <laughs>